India's best engineering minds converge for a grand battle at the 5th edition of the Times Ascent Engineering Mastermind, India's biggest inter-corporate quiz. You know, very recently, team shared one uh, presentation on Ascent Engineering Mastermind, and I saw a graph that what's been the progress for last five years. The only thing that I actually wanted to see our sales graph, the revenue graph for the business that I run, look like exactly the Ascent Engineering Mastermind has progressed. Thank you, each one of you. The way you have actually, you know, in last five years participated, made this event a great success. And special thanks to the sponsors, Murga Park Group, second year in a row, you have actually, you know, shown a confidence in this great event, and uh, GTL. Without the sponsors, for us to really put this grand show is just not, you know, uh, possible. As they say, uh, God once, uh, when he decided to create the world, uh, he said that uh, on the sixth day of his creation, he decided that he will no more be able to do it alone. Then he decided to create the engineers. That's how we are all born. So, uh, so I'm happy to be part of this. The civil engineers construct, the mechanical engineers move, the electronic engineers connect, the electrical engineers power up, and no wonder the software engineers delight the world. All the best to you guys for the day. Pleasant environment should be like, geared up, thanks, expecting a good round of competition out here. Thank you. Zonal rounds conducted in Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, Chennai, Pune, Hyderabad and Ahmedabad witnessed cutthroat competition as the contestants fought to qualify for the national finals. Ford India, this is for you. A unique property of Uru metal is that under the proper stimulus, it can emit large quantities of gravitons. If an object emits additional gravitons, it is equivalent to increasing its mass. Thus, when an unworthy person applies a force, Uru metal increases the weight and cancels this lift. The above is a scientific explanation of which fictional occurrence? Which fictional object as well? You can tell me the name of the object which you can relate to this description. That's my question to you, Ford India. For 10 points, defies gravity and is in popular culture. Go for it. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Oh, I know where you're coming from, Ford, but that's not the right answer we we're expecting. It moves on to Amic Foster for five points. For five points. Yes, my friends. No attempt. They pass. It moves on further. Yes. Uh, we're going to say Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer or the Mohijir? That's a fantastic answer right down there for five points. After the riveting zonals, the teams qualifying for the grand title are Cherian Varghese and Deepak Taneja from Indian Oil Delhi, Ranchuman and Gio Thomas from JP Morgan Mumbai, Ashish Gulhane and Ramesh Gopalakrishnan from INA Bearing Pune, Ananya Sharma and Siddharth Srivastav from Uber Ahmedabad, Arun Pavri and Leo Thomas from Genpak Bangalore. Krishan Shetty and Marshi Maitra from Dr. Reddy's Laboratories from Hyderabad. Srinath and Subrajit Nandi from Sun TV Network Chennai. Welcome all teams. Let me now share the rules for the house for the grand finale. These are the rules for all of us as well as the contestants. We are going to have five rounds of quizzing. 
five rounds of quizzing, and these five rounds, the first three rounds, is going to be competitive quizzing amongst all the seven teams. All the seven teams. Beyond the third round, we will have an elimination of the last two standing teams, and only the five best will move on to round six, uh, to move on to round four and five. Dr. Reddy's lab, are you ready for your first question for 10 points? Here we go. These two forces relied on espionage equipment with origins in World War II and the Cold War. An old school technique, of course, like radio triangulation and microwave data. All this technology went to a seemingly impossible mission to intercept the right call at the right time and at the right place, quite harrowing. And to narrow down the location required, constant communication was done between surveillance teams of Sentra, Spike, Delta Force, Search Block. What are we talking about, guys? What recent development are we talking about with regards to this? Dr. Reddy's lab, for 10 points, here's your chance to take it out. We are speaking about GPS and Bluetooth. We're talking about GPS and Bluetooth. I wish, Dr. Reddy, that's not the right answer. Uber. So uh, this is the hunt for Pablo Escobar. The hunt for Pablo Escobar, my friends. What a crack. Five points. Five points you have taken home. Well deserved ones. I'll move on to the next question now. This is for you, INA Bering, on the screen now. This basic idea came from D. Ascanio, a former Italian aero engineer from watching US military aircraft drop tiny olive green Cushman air bones to troops. Of course, made in Nebraska, they were allowed to nip about as deftly as never before. Using this skills and materials drawn from the aircraft industry, what did Mr. De Ascanio design? What he designed, which went on to be one of the biggest and most recognized companies of Italy. Ducati bikes. Ducati bikes, is that what you said? Ducati bikes, very close, but not yet close. What are we looking for? What is Mr. De Ascanio design? Is it the uh, Vespa? Is it the Vespa? Is that a guess? Yes. That's a wonderful guess, Indian Oil. Five points to you. Five points to you. Vespa, indeed. Next question for JP Morgan to my right on the screen now. Hank Pym is a scientific genius with a PhD in biochemistry and nanotechnology. An experience in these fields of quantum physics, robotics, cybernetics, artificial intelligence, entomology, a lot of things. He seems to be a man of many talents. He discovered the subatomic PIM particles that enable mass to be shunted, thereby the size of him or others to be changed. How do we know him better? We're talking from the world of fiction. Here is our option. Here's a chance to win 10 points. JP Morgan. Uh, so this is Ant-Man? This is Ant-Man. Is that a question against a question? Yeah. I'll still give you those 10 points for this question. That is indeed. Ant-Man, Ant-Man. And I'll be moving on to Indian oil for 10 points. Indian oil for 10 points. Arthur Holly Copton was a physicist and a winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1927. This was for his discoveries resulting in major changes in electromagnetic theory. He invented a device, though, after noticing the speed at which motorists passed Broking Hall at Washington University in Missouri, where he was a chancellor. Those devices can be made from a variety of materials, including asphalt, concrete, recycled plastic. What are we talking about? What was bothering him enough to come up with something new which changed the world? Measuring the speed of uh, vehicles, uh, speed guns. Speed guns, the speed radars, to yeah. measure the speed of the vehicles. Oh, I know, I don't think that's what he was interested in, Genpak. So uh, we are guessing that he wanted to slow down the vehicle, so he made something like a speed bump or a speed breaker, speed bumps. Speed bumps or a speed breaker, that's how you get your five points. Speed breakers, speed breakers. That's how, I see a lot of you high-fiving each other here as well. Speed breakers, it is. Good attempt, good attempt, Genpak. And the next question is indeed for you. Genpak for 10 points on the screen. Let's have a look. Nils Bolin, a former aviation engineer at Saab who worked on ejector seats, knew an effect that this must absorb force across the body. He anchored the straps so low on geometry and formed a V directed at the floor. This would remain in place and not shift. What, that, what did he thus invent? What did he thus invent? Of course, the roots of this is in the ejector seats phenomenon of Saab, which was a famous aviation company in Sweden. What he thus invented? Okay, That's our question. This uh, was uh, behind the seat belts. 
the idea of seat belts came from something like this. You, you mean the seat belts? Yeah. Seat belts in automobiles? Yes. Yes, indeed, Genpak, yeah. 10 points to you. A three point seat belt, a three point seat belt. That's where the technology was later sourced by Volvo and commercialized. And we will move on to the next question to Uber. Donner Schaffer, a professor and extension specialist in food science, found that moisture, type of surface, and content contact time all contribute to a cross contamination. The researchers tested four surfaces, stainless steel, ceramic tile, wood and carpet, and four different food items which were edible. They also looked at four different contact times, less than one second, five, 30, 300. Their research has debunked a popular myth. What myth or what are we talking about? This is about the rule of if food falls on the floor and if it's within a certain time period, it's not contaminated, it's safe to eat. So that was the, they will, five second yeah. rule, three second rule, and what they're trying to debunk is that, that yeah. whatever that time period is, they've there's no logic to it, it yeah. there's, no there's no particular I mean, this is what they're researching yeah. on, so the five second rule, it's uh, basically a myth, which I mean. says that the food would be good enough until if it's been in touch only under that particular time, time. period, yeah. Uber, I'll stop you there, you are getting those points, you can stop now, yes, 10 points indeed. I'll move on to the last question of the first round, this is for Sun TV Network on the screen now. In 1901, in 1901, Edgar Hooley, a surveyor, was walking in Derbyshire when he noticed a smooth stretch of road close to an ironworks shop. He was told that a barrel of tar had fallen and a dray and burst, it had burst open. Someone poured the waste slag from the nearby surface to cover up the mess. He noticed something, figured out the process, patented it, made a lot of money. What invention did? Edgar Hooley stumble upon. We we'll say tarmac. Tarmac. Tarmac, as in the tarmac in airports. Uh, tarmac airports, the surface for yeah. roads. Yes, Sun TV networks. It is indeed tarmacs. That's how you win 10 more points. The grand finale of the Times Ascent Engineering Mastermind continues on the other side. Stay tuned. <laughs>